Why is India terrified of letting its people see a documentary and footage of the killing of Hardeep Singh Najjar? A few days ago, the Canadian broadcasting company's The Fifth Estate was released on YouTube, a 45-minute documentary examining the murder last year of the Khalistan campaigner on Canadian soil. However, shortly after, YouTube then blocked the documentary to its Indian audience under orders from the Indian government, who served notice under its Information Technology Act. The documentary, titled Contract to Kill, showed exclusive security video of Nijar being killed on June the 18th outside the Guru Nanak Gurdwara in Surrey, British Columbia. CBC revealed it had then received an email from YouTube yesterday advising it had received an order from India's Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology to block access to the video. Twitter, now known as X, has also received a similar demand from the Indian government to remove the documentary. In a statement, X advised that Indian law obligates X to withhold access to this content in India. However, the content remains available elsewhere, and continued that they disagreed with this action and maintained that freedom of expression should extend to these posts. Following the Indian legal process, Twitter are in current communication with the Indian authorities. The murder of Najjar has been openly accused by the Canadian and US governments as being the work of the Indian government through its program of transnational repression, a covert operation that has targeted the global Sikh diaspora. This program has ranged from simple online intimidation and threats to real-world violence and now assassination. It has particularly been targeted at campaigners advocating for an independent Sikh homeland, Khalistan. It's believed the program ramped up after the 2021 farmers protest when India's National Security Advisor Ajit Doval, together with Narendra Modi, identified the Sikh diaspora as being a powerful force behind the protest and thus decided to begin assassinating key figures in the diaspora. Now, with the release of the latest evidence of their involvement in the illegal assassination program, the Indian government is clearly fighting hard to ensure the truth is now kept from India's population. You've been watching Satellite TV News. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button to make sure you get to see stories as they're broadcast. And of course, if you have any comments or opinions on any of our news stories, you can comment below. Or indeed, drop us a direct message at message at satellitetv.com. We do like to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching. For Satellite TV News, I'm Angus Scott in London.